Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to answer some of the commonly asked questions about drain tile because there are a lot of misperceptions about it. And especially if you're a non-farmer, you may say, what in the world is this tile that's going into the field? This isn't gonna flood us out and isn't it gonna cause all these problems? So let's get into some of these uh, commonly asked questions. Okay, well, here's the most basic of them, Brian. When we think about tile, we're putting this hose down underneath the ground. How does water get in and dirt not? Okay, so the tile that's put in today, unlike back, a hundred years ago. It's not clay tile or cement tile or anything like that. It's plastic tile and usually that tile is made out of recycled material. So it's actually a pretty good thing taking recycled material. It's the same type of tile that goes right around your house. So if you've ever seen that it's flexible. It's kind of like a, a big hose and there are very small perforations there. In other words very small holes that allow that water to get in. Now it's not a big problem if a little bit of dirt gets into that tile line because there is some slope and the water carries the dirt right out of the line. If a farmer has a flat condition and that tile line does not have a lot of slope, what some farmers will do is they'll put a sock around that tile line so that helps prevent fine sand or silt from getting in. All right, with these tile lines, how deep are farmers putting them in the ground? A lot of times, and, and how close are those spacings? Yeah, together? a lot of times three or four feet deep. Tile lines that were put in a hundred years ago, a lot of those were put in six feet deep. And the reason why they put them in so deep is so they could drain a much larger area. Now we have good equipment so we can very quickly put tile in without a lot of work. We only want to put it in at about three feet deep a lot of times so we don't lower the water table that deep. That means we have to have lines a little closer together so back 100 years ago, if you had your lines at six feet deep, you could have them 100 feet apart. Well, if we're putting them in at three feet deep, we need to have them at 30 to 50 feet apart. We can actually do a little bit better job of drainage and we take a lot less water out of the ground because all tile does is it lowers the water table. So if you have a tile line at six feet deep, then that's a lot deeper water table than if you have that tile line at three feet deep. So when we have that tile line at three feet deep, we're taking dramatically less water out of the field. Okay, well this field's a good example that we're in in that it has a hill and it slopes down towards the ditch and you think, well, the water's gonna naturally run there. Yep. If water just ran off the field and trickled into the ditch, nobody would think twice about it. Oh, okay, right. well that's just nature, that's how it's gonna work. It's uphill, it's gonna drain downhill. But when you have a pipe coming out at the end of the field and you see water coming out there, the question naturally comes comes up to people, well, what's safer, the water running off the surface and running down the ditch or the water that's coming out that tile line? Well, the, the cleaner water, there's no question about it, is tile line. So if you ever do happen to question this, just go to a farm field and watch runoff come off if there's a great big rain versus a tile line coming out of the same field. That tile water is very clean because soil gets the chance to filter out the contaminants. The other big thing that I would say about this in general is water is going to flow downhill and and we can see it visually when it's on top of the soil surface. Below ground though, water is always moving as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. By putting these tile lines in the ground, we're not moving more total water. It's just moving it at a little bit different time. Well, there certainly are a lot of questions with many of the things that farmers are doing in fields across our country. If you have questions, please send them in to us at info at agphd.com. We'd be happy to answer them and talk about them during a farm basic well, One segment. of the questions we commonly get is, how do you control this weed? Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 